Hey there, sport. Beautiful day, isn't it? Say, you should go talk to Betty. She's waiting for you over on the playground. Have fun, sport. Hi, George. What's the good word? Oh, I was just looking at the new Robco catalog. Some impressive things they're doing these days. Hi there. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry, and then come back here so we can talk some more. Okay, I guess. I don't really have nobody to play with, except for Betty, and she's kind of, well, she's mean. What? No, she didn't. Did she? I don't like her. She's creepy, and she laughs at stuff that isn't funny. What? Did I do something bad? Oh, my mommy and daddy, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! for everything we have. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up, make-believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. 
the only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. No, no! I knew you could do it! Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. No? Then I'm afraid you'll never be leaving. I decide when you may leave. And unless you start cooperating, you're going to have a very long stay here on Tranquility Lane.
you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe, ruined everything. The subjects will die, and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything! You've taken them all from me! You've left me with nothing! It's not fair. Nobody to play with ever again. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but... but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. It certainly is. It's nice to feel that I'm on two legs again. And thanks to Dr. Braun, I know that Project Purity isn't lost after all. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable and even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes. What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. Be careful, my son. <laughs>